That power also comes from the origin of the beads, how they are collected and shaped by human hands. Marcus Hendricks makes wampum beads. He is a member of the Mashpee Wampanoag. The Haudenosaunee acquired wampum beads from his people in other Atlantic coastal communities. Wampanoag means people of the first light, people of the dawn. They witnessed the first horizon of the sun coming up. The first step to making wampum is gathering shellfish in his ancestral waters off Cape Cod. When I come out onto the water, there's a connection to my ancestors, a relationship that goes through my blood and my veins. The shells of quahog are the raw material for wampum. You want to look for good thickness in a quahog. The fire is both the first step in a gratitude offering and prepares the quahog to be opened. I was taught really young to take the time to give thanks and say a few prayers to the Creator. We do that anytime we're harvesting anything from Mother Earth. Marcus uses traditional methods to transform the shell into wampum beads, refining raw shell until it can be strung together into a wampum belt. Each bead took a lot of hours and a lot of manpower. Each strand probably would have taken a year to make. When strung into a belt, wampum empowers the person holding it as a representative of their people. They were made for ceremonies to depict stories and treaties between tribes. So if I was to go visit another nation, I would bring the belt to show that there's a close uh, bond between the, between the nations. The wampum belt acts as a treaty. The Wampanoag, Haudenosaunee, and other native peoples of the Northeast use wampum to hold memories and create bonds between nations. 